this is not a good news video. <laughs> it is just, oh, it sucks. I, um, I attempted the CKS exam. And I say attempted because it was an attempt because I didn't pass. I actually failed. Um, which shouldn't come as much a surprise. It shouldn't come as a surprise to me because I've been talking about the CKS with colleagues, friends, other engineers for a long time. And for a long time, they have always told me, it is hard. It is a very, very difficult exam. You will need to overly study for this. No, Killer Shell is not actually a good reflection because the real exam is harder. And, you know, naturally I took everything they said with a pinch of salt. Um, I did mm, four weeks hard study, I would say. Yeah, four weeks of uh, intense study, let's say, using uh, Killer Coder and um, documentation books and everything. And yeah, I came out with a solid 50%, which is okay, but it's a fail, right? <laughs> so it's not okay. Um, there was a few, a few things that I learned from the exam. And, uh, you know, first of all, to note, the pass mark for the CKS is 67%, which is a very, um, you know, it's a gracious pass mark. 17% um, that could be like one question with a heavy weight in possibly I mean that there's anywhere between 10 and 16 questions um, and yeah it sucked and of course you got 24 hours so I finished the exam I knew I didn't do well I knew I struggled I got all the way to the end um, got all the way to the end of the questions but yeah there was a solid three or four questions that I didn't answer because I genuinely didn't know how to I looked at it and I was like, I do not understand how, how am I supposed to answer this? So I didn't, I flagged them, I went back, I still couldn't answer them. So it didn't really make that much difference. But um, yeah, but the things I did learn. So some of the positives that I did learn from the CKS exam. Basically, doing the exam gave me an insight into how they're actually gonna phrase the question. Now I have done the, you know, Cloud Guru Labs, I've done Code Cloud, Cloud Cloud, Cloud, code cloud, you know the one I mean, right? I've done them once, I've done them practice exams, I've done the killer coder exams, I've done the killer shell exams, but none of them prepare you for the way that the questions are phrased in the actual exam themselves. And arguably that almost worked against me because I was expecting the questions to be phrased in the same way, so I was reading them in the way I expected them to be phrased. But that's not how they were. So I kind of did myself um, you know, it di didn't help myself. I made I made a mistake, and that was the wrong thing to do. And I went in guns blazing, and I, yeah, I just ended up going off on a tangent. So I would advise anyone who has the exam or has has the exam coming up, um, to take it initially. Take the first because you get a free retry, right? So do a few weeks study. You know, six, four six weeks study when you feel relatively confident. And then go and do the CKS exam, but do it as like a test run. You know, do it so you can understand how the questions are going to be. You know, get a feeling for how it's going to be written and try and remember it. I mean, something I always do when I come away from an exam is I actually go straight to my notepad and I write down everything I can remember that I didn't know so that I can go away and study it. Um, you know, I mean, I can't share them details, obviously, NDA, and it's really heavily frowned upon, of course. But the, f the fact of the matter is, I wasn't prepared. And it's not that I wasn't prepared for the, the, the technical questions, I wasn't prepared for how the exam was going to ask the question. So, you know, yeah. That's why I would advise anyone that's looking to take the CKS. The other thing that's important to know is that I did rebook. Um, but I rebooked it for like four days later because my voucher was going to expire. So I don't feel particularly confident about that. I'm going to have to buy another voucher. That's my fault. Um, we'll see what happens. But I would uh, give it, yeah, it's a, it's a tough exam. It's a really tough exam. Um, you know, I've done I've done all the others, all the other Kubernetes exams, um, CKA, um, CKD, 
Um, the administrative exams, the KCNA and KCNS, you, you know the ones I mean, the multiple choice questions. I've done them and yeah, they were fine. You know, CKA I studied, CKAD I did some study for. The administrator exams I didn't study for, but I have been working in the Kubernetes space for a long time. So, well, long time, you know, five years. Um, that's a reasonably long time. Um, so, yeah, and I've, I've done lots of exams, you know, VMware, GCP, Cisco exams, ICND, if you know what that is, fair play. Um, but yeah, CKS, I just wasn't ready. So main takeaway from this is that if you are planning to do the CKS, do it with lots of practice, lots and lots of, lots of learning, really know what the tools are, know how to use the tools. Your best friend will be the API server, know how it works, know how to fix it, know how to see the logs and be, be kosher with Docker, um, not Docker commands, Linux, right? Just interacting with Linux commands. So grep, um, grep flags. What if you want to see something in the logs, but it doesn't show, but you know it should be there. Are you using the right flag? You know, do you need to use, you know, an uppercase, lowercase flag? <sighs> These kind of things will will catch you out um, along with making sure you know yeah, the tools, the command line, and actually time. Time is brutal. You have two hours and I swear you need like five hours. If you wanted to get like a high score on that exam and you're like, like I am not fast on the command line. I'm comfortable, I am not fast. And I don't even know how I got to the end of that. Like, I literally have no idea. I'm fairly good with like, um, like cube cut or shortcuts, but still, like, yeah, I would love to see somebody do the exam who is like phenomenal on the terminal that actually just doesn't use a mouse, you know, like a NeoVim Pro or something like that, because they would just they'd blow it out of the water. But it is, it's tough. So yeah, be comfortable moving around the terminal. Know what you're doing. Know your short commands know your grep commands. Um, I will obviously post another video when I do the CKS again. Um, I might pass, probably won't be because it's in a few days. Um, but as is, as is the way of exams, right? Um, I, didn't, I didn't pass exams when I was in high school, so why, why would I pass them now? No. It will, uh, it'll be all right, you know, one way or another, I will get that, uh, that cube astronaut. I will get it, it will be mine. Anyway, till next time.